One World Radio. Hey Joseph, say hello to YouTube. They're watching. Go on. Hello to everyone on YouTube. <laughs> no one believes this is live. No one believes it's real. And I know that obviously everybody is listening around the world on the Tomorrowland app and Tomorrowland.com and obviously in DAB wherever you can. Joseph Capriati, everybody. Very happy to welcome you back to the One World Radio studio. And Such a honor. <laughs> Joseph, I said to, to you before you came on air, you seem a very happy man. I am. It's actually, I have to say, it's maybe the best period of my life Amazing. and career. Mm -hmm. So it's um, life give you proofs. And I had a very down period, like as, as a very human, you know, as a human. Mm -hmm. And um, now I see the light, which is incredible. Yeah. But as an artist, I never lost the light, which is something that kept me alive, kept me alive in the darkness. Music kept me, kept me alive every day even when I was not happy as a man yeah. and now I'm uh, happy as a man and as an artist. What to ask better, you know, what so to ask better. It's really, it's because you're treading a path that many people dream of and it's so good to hear in, in, in a reassuring way that even in the dark moments, in, in somebody who's at the top of the game can still come out of it and be even stronger. Yeah. I never left the hope because yeah. music gave me the hope every yeah. day and uh, it's, it's incredible, you know. I started to play, I was 11 years old, imagine, and uh, I'm now 36 and it's still like the, the first day. This is the music power, you know, guys. It's, you it's you just said to me that you were so happy with the library stage. So you played ah, on Martin Garrix and Friends in the library stage. So describe it like it's not a normal stage is it it's different exactly so i describe everything how this starts so me and martin garrix are really good friends really yeah. really it's one of my closest friends right now since years mm -hmm. but seriously when he called me and he say joseph i would love to do something it's a challenge i know i know who you are i know what you play but what do you like to do the stamp records stage at tomorrow and they were like martin you know but can I fit in your lineup? I say, Joseph, I have an idea. So you play, then Paul Kalkbrenner plays, and then I close with my friends. Do you like the idea? I say, yes, Martin, for me, let's do it. But he was, both were sure that it was a challenge. And also uh, before, when I finished my set, we, he came on the stage and he said, Joseph, we took the risk. But at the end, we won because we were, you know, we both took the risk because for me, I never really played in a um, situation where before me they were playing EDM, yeah. which is not my, my thing. But I, I love everything. I really uh, like to listen to everything. But to play after a proper EDM set, I really never did before. It's my first time. So when I start to play, uh, I started like groovy, like under 29 BPM, under 30, very groovy, like, you know, beats. And uh, then 10 minutes, the first 10 minutes, I saw the, I look at the crowd at the beginning, like, oh my God, okay, <laughs> this is happening. We are the risk, uh, we took the risk and I'm losing because the people were leaving. But yeah. I say, don't worry, trust yourself. And then like I start to build up and uh, 10 minutes, I put my eyes again on the top and it was getting full again with my people that came to listen to me. And I'm like, I was so happy. And that's why Italian flags all the way, uh, one Napoli flag. Hey, and like, you know, like champions. really like from home. <laughs> and uh, then I started to play more melodic mm -hmm. and then be building up to techno, but not that fast, under 31. It was still melodic, but it was techno. So I. In one hour, because was, so that was the challenge, one hour set, yeah. I'm very happy, guys. You know, I'm proud of what I've done, and I'm proud uh, that we did this today. And I think it's something that will stay in my history, because it's, uh, you know, normally I see the main stage of Tomorrowland, they are doing this since several years. But, you know, Martin gave me the opportunity to do this with him. So I, be, I believe it, it's, uh, it's uh, opening a new door today. I'm, I'm excited because you've taken on a challenge and that's out of your comfort zone and now you've done it. It's like, ah, oh, this is interesting and it opens, exactly. opens a lot of doors. Exactly. So that's exciting. The scene is very open right yeah, now, yeah. very, very open. Most important thing is to do everything by the heart. 
anything can happen nowadays. You can do everything. You can even get so popular if you want, but if you want, but if you really love what you do, you will stay. Yeah, yeah. If you really uh, do things with your intention, people will know and uh, will, will, you will stay forever. Authenticity, right? It's like yeah. you are really who you are and that is what you do. So I like don't produce records since um, five years. Mm -hmm. Maybe my last album was like four years ago and uh, I play all over the world with my DJ vision. Yeah. So I'm so honored and the glad that people support me and believe in what I do as a DJ because I start as a DJ. Yeah. I was playing records like I was 11, like with two little, with the fingers on the turntable of, of my grandma. I didn't have money to buy uh, proper turntables, you know. I played with two records for six months to learn with a third hand mixer, like very like all dirty. So for me, this is what I do. So and I like to mix everything comes from heart. Tonight yeah. you had to DJ, you had to, you had to had work to. the crowd, you know what I mean? And I don't just like, you didn't just turn up, you had to work hard I did. to keep the crowd, to earn I their did. respect, to then keep them with you. Exactly. I was a little bit at the yeah. beginning. I like that. I like Pressure. that. You now, know. Let me ask though, because this is the Martin Garrix and Friends stage. Yeah. Like, when did you first? Because I know I was going to ask. So like, when did you first get to be friends with Martin? So this is a story that I don't believe happens every day, but it was like uh, one year, two years before the, the the pandemic, something like that. And it was in holiday in uh, Thailand. So that's the place where a friend of mine goes. Mm -hmm. So this, this friend of mine sent me a, a photo with Martin. I say, hey bro, I'm with Martin, you know, he say hi. I say, wow, man, Martin Garrix, you know, I don't know him, but no, 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 he really follow your music, he, you know, he knows you, I say. And then uh, I, we start to connect on Instagram mm -hmm. and uh, we, we follow each other and he sent me a text like, hey bro, you know, uh, you're one of my, uh, the person I most respect. I said, no, come on, this is, this is not possible. I mean, you know, it's Martin Eriks, he's a star. And say, no, you're one of my biggest influence and I really respect what you do. Please come to visit me in Amsterdam. I was like, no, th this is not possible. I mean, you know, I don't take this like, real you know many it's people many yeah. people like you know, blah 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 yeah yeah invite me to home but then they don't do it and then he's like no no now you take a flight and you book a flight please because i and then i you know i say i don't know martin so i asked to this friend say he's doing it. if he, he asks you this do it because he's a uh, real like you joseph i'm like okay let's do it i took a flight bro it's like being home home for real and uh, nobody Nobody treat me like this straight away as Martin did. He's a he's a one of the most humble person I ever met in my life. Maybe I can count in two fingers. Other one is Carl Cox probably. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, he's a genius. You know, I realized what he does. He wake up every day. If he sleep uh, maybe four hours a night, yeah, yeah. He's, he's always making music. But he makes a melody. It's a hit. Yeah. straight away and he does everything by himself he doesn't have any engineer he doesn't have any uh, guitar, you know hide the producer no yeah. he does everything by himself i can prove that he's a legend so for me i was just there and he, we he didn't even ask me say hi joseph let's do something together never we after one year we met each other we start to say we, we start to work on a loop mm -hmm. we never really finished it but it's there mm -hmm. but it's something like really special, it's groovy. Yeah. But we are not there for uh, any connection or just something. Just real life connection yeah. and friendship. Amazing. This is, I never happened ever in my life, something like that. So Martin for me is one of my most important person. And also when I got a, a big, big uh, uh, accident, I don't know if yeah, yeah. somebody knows around, like uh, three years ago, I almost died. And he took a flight to come to, outside my door, you know? Mm -hmm. And I said, no, man, don't come, don't come. I don't want to, that you see me bad. He, he said, no, Joseph, I'm there with you. You know what I mean? Yeah. Guys, it's, it's, it's insane. And uh, Did he bring you any grapes? <laughs> 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 because if he didn't, he's no friend of yours. I want grapes. Uh, you know what? That's really beautiful to hear that. And I'm, I'm glad I asked and I hope you don't mind. And thank you for sharing because obviously there's, there's lots of detail in there that's personal to you. But it's, it's, it makes so much sense now that you're on the Martin Garrick stage, you know? That's amazing. This is why. This yeah. is why it happened. It happened for a reason, for a real music reason. And uh, 
human connection reason. And uh, I'm happy that people went on the stage. And even if m most of the people, maybe they didn't know me, they went there and they were dancing. You know, for me, I'm humbled, you know, as, because as I repeat to you, I just, I'm a DJ, a humble DJ that really love what, uh, what he does. And uh, thank you to everyone, really, I'm, I'm speechless. This is the, by far my best uh, Tomorrowland experience ever. And uh, today for me, the Tomorrowland soul get in my, in my heart. It's so beautiful thing. Seriously, I'm, I'm grateful. Very inspiring. And after this, this, I'm also, I promise to everyone, I'm getting there. I will get back to the studio because it's a long time I don't produce, but I'm now setting up my new setup because uh, for many that ask why I don't produce a lot is because I took uh, time to get to what the new music is, the quality is, you know, because it's too, really too high quality, mm -hmm. but I don't want to that anybody touch my tracks. I want to do everything by myself. Good. So this is why I'm taking time. But after today, um, it's a, another big motivation to get back and release music as soon as possible. Thank you. I don't have words. I'm saying nothing. Joseph, we love you. Keep on doing good things. <laughs> uh, we're going to go to the main stage now. Love this guy. Joseph Capriati on One World Radio. Thank you.